So we don't want to on me. Okay. A Dixie. We're only moments away from the escape. Are you nervous about it, Randolyn? Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest? Is it anything about the escapes, the three deadly escapes you're about to attempt, like uh, uh, challenging for you or, or you think might be difficult, one more difficult than the other? Um, I think probably the most challenging will be the underwater. I, I do have a slight aversion to water. <laughs> really? Yeah. And battling the time of holding my breath. And now, of course, the water will be cold. It is cold outside. It has been raining. It's been windy. But once I set a commitment, I will follow through. Okay. Do you think that uh, that is why you're saving the underwater challenge until last? Because it's the most dangerous? And it's the most exciting. I think the public, they're already arriving. And I think everybody's going to love what they're about to see. Three deadly challenges. Uh, now, most people, that when they do the upside-down straight jacket, they only use one straight jacket. And these are regulation jackets. Yes. Am I correct? They are both it, posy straight jackets. They're the same type of straight jackets they use on the uh, mentally insane to restrain themselves? Correct. Right. Okay. And all the handcuffs and everything are real and genuine, right? Solid steel. The handcuffs are Smith & Wesson. Um, the ball and chain uses Darby's. Mm -hmm. uh, very secure, very heavy. These are more than half my body weight. Yeah, you're only 97 pounds and they should pull you directly to the bottom. Uh, one thing I have to ask you too, uh, because you're only 97 pounds and you, uh, you do uh, perform these escapes in such a way like Houdini would have performed them. Because Houdini used to say, even though he was very muscular, as you are, uh, that uh, my brain is the key that sets me free. So it's the knowledge and understanding the handcuffs that allows you to free yourself or liberate yourself from the cuffs. Am I correct? Absolutely. And the key to me successfully escaping each time is basically concentration and staying calm. I have learned the first time I was ever underwater with handcuffs, I will admit, I did panic when one didn't unlock. But luckily, I managed to get myself under control, managed to calm down, and, well, <laughs> I'm still here. Well, that's what Houdini used to say. Uh, he used to say it's very important that you learn how to master the uh, um, uh, fear and uh, not panic. Yes. And it's those extra seconds that will give you the time to liberate yourself or escape, and possibly those extra seconds will save your life. Absolutely, and I think the underwater escape is also essential for me to help me overcome my fear of suffocation or drowning. It's a bit of a triumph every time I successfully achieve it. So we've talked about the escape from underwater. We've talked about the escape uh, from midair in the straitjackets. Now, the carnival cage is a particular and uh, unique escape. No one else in the world has ever attempted this because no one else in the world has ever been challenged by it. Now the carnivore cage, you'll be using live rats? Yes, I will be using two live, uh, freshly caught rats. And I will admit, I'm, mm, I'm a bit squeamish when it comes to rats, especially when they're locked in the same cage as my face. And they're, uh, they're hungry, right? They're very hungry. They, they haven't eaten in two days, so they will eat just about anything. And one thing that the uh, rats tend to go for is the your eyes, yes, because they are uh, they contain moisture, and it's one thing that will attract them uh, above all, far beyond uh, any other part of your body at first. Anyway, if you can't escape from this, so uh, what is going to happen? Are they going to have to uh, chop you out of it? Uh, well. Hopefully it will not come down to that. Like I said, I'm, I'm very, uh, very hard on myself when it comes to my work and my escapes. And I don't like to ex accept, you know, fail safes. And I haven't failed an escape yet. Okay. And hopefully I won't have to. But um, I, I'm very confident in my skills. That but this I, will be the first time that you're attempting it with live rats. You've, with live rats. you've, you've practiced and tried to do the escape before and attempted it, but never with the live rats, right? Never with the rats, so I will admit I'm a bit, mm, not necessarily nervous, I'm just a bit wary. But hopefully I will get out before I lose both of my eyes <laughs> and well, anything else. Thank you, Rendalyn, for this interview. 
right prior. I know uh, you've got to go get ready for the escapes, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. I look forward to it. Judy, right next to Sierra.